welcome back to Tasmania TV. In today's video I am doing a makeup look for you. It's been a while since I did a proper makeup tutorial and I figured since the holidays are coming and you guys have been requesting that I do holiday makeup, I'm gonna be nice and actually do a holiday look for you today. Here is what the finished result is going to look like. Now you can turn this into an even more traditional makeup look if you want, if you want to switch those colors out and use red, green, and gold instead. Because my hair is a cold lilac silvery tone, I want to go with something that matches the hair. So the green and the gold is not really for me. I do, however, like matching red with purple, so I'm gonna go with red, purple, and silver today, which is maybe not a super traditional way to do a holiday makeup, which is fun. I like doing non-traditional stuff, so let's get started. I just woke up and it's super dry and wintry and cold here in Sweden right now, so the first thing I need to do is put some moisture back into my dry skin. I'm using jojoba oil for this. After that, it is priming time, and I'm using my regular Get Picture Ready primer from Essence. Then it is foundation time, and as you guys know, I like using my Airbase foundation, because it's waterproof and very nice and smooth and silicone-based. So I am mixing together the uh, light medium with the solid white, because the light medium is too dark for me, at least during winter. For summer, it's fine. So I just mix them together in my hand and then apply using one of these brushes. Next in I'm going to do some shading using a cold brown eyeshadow from Makeup Store and just one of these curved face brushes. For the nose contour, I like doing the highlight first, so I'm gonna go in with this white jumbo liner from LA Colors and just do that highlight for the nose that I like doing, and I'm giving you the finger right now. <laughs> I'm also gonna do the cupid's bow while I'm at it. And then I'm going back in with that cold brown eyeshadow and this little precision brush, which is perfect for doing nose contour. Okay, I'm gonna put some color back into my cheeks using this pink blusher. This one is by a mite and it's not in the original pack So I can't tell you like the number or the actual product name. Sorry about that. I'm using this round face brush For the highlight, I'm gonna be using two products today. The first one is this one. This is by AOA Studios, and it's called the Wonder Baked Highlighter. The shade is called Icing, which is this cold white, and it goes perfectly with this hair color. I like using a pointed face brush to do the highlight. I tend to put on quite a lot of it, but like, look at that. Icy cold. For the nose the highlight, I am taking this smaller brush because we don't want to go outside of those lines. And I'm also doing that for the cupid's bow. Now because this highlight is a little discreet, I'm also going to get my Unicorn Hearts Rainbow Highlight from Revolution Makeup and use a mix of the blue and the purplish pink. So I'm like dragging it in the middle of those two. And this can be quite potent, so I'm going to be careful because I don't want it to be too blue. I just made it a little bit colder in tone. It's okay to exaggerate a little bit. I mean, it's Christmas after all. Alright, the base for my face is completed, so I'm going to zoom in and get to the details. I'm going to prep the lips for later on, right now. I'm just moisturizing them so that they're not dry for when I apply the lip product. Breakfast break. Okay, so one of the more important elements in this look is going to be a super, super shimmery white product, and this is the one that I'm using. This, like most of my Mite products, 
for some reason isn't properly labeled, but it is a super, super white, loose, shimmery pigment. My idea is for this to be on the lid and then for the rest of the colors to be around it. But in order to put any colors on at all, I'm gonna need to prime my eyes underneath and on the lid. So I'm gonna be using that same white jumbo liner for that. So I'm doing the inner corner and the waterline. And then taking that underneath. So we're gonna do the underneath first, which is why I'm not applying that jumbo liner on top right now. Just smudging that a little bit. And I usually like doing the red underneath, but today we're gonna switch things up and do the purple underneath and do the red on top instead. I'm going to be using this purple. It's quite deep. This is by Coastal Scents. For underneath the eyes, I like using a very small flat brush like this one. Look how nice and deep that color is. And then to get some light into this, I'm going to be using this American Icon eyeshadow from Clean Color. Um, I can't really tell what it was called because the packaging has been kind of ruined, but it's a nice lilac. It's a little bit of shimmer in there. So I'm gonna take a fluffy brush, put a little bit of that, and then go over this dark purple and take it down a little bit. That should soften it up and make it a little bit lighter. I still want it to be dark and dramatic, but like, just a little bit. By doing this, we're blending and applying at the same time. I'm just gonna take my big old fan brush and get rid of some fallout. Alright, we're gonna move on to the actual lid now. I'm gonna go back in with that same white jumbo liner to prime. Inner corners are still primed, so we don't need to redo those. Alright, now comes the part where it requires a steady hand because I'm gonna use the loose pigment now. This stuff gets everywhere no matter how careful you are. I'm gonna use a flat brush. Will you look at that shimmer? That is insane amount of shimmer though. So this goes all over the lid and then in the inner corners as well. We're really gonna like a bit of bedazzling. And then it is time for red. I am using this, which is a super super bright red again by a mite. And with this red, we are going to create a dramatic exaggerated high crease. So I'm gonna be using an angled brush. Be as dramatic as you like with this. Obviously I like a bit of drama in my makeup. All right, now we wanna blend this because it's very harsh at the moment and we wanna blend upwards. So I'm using this rounded blended brush. Fresh one, never use the same blending brush for both sides, because why? You get all the product on the second eye. And you're never gonna match. It's liquid eyeliner time. I'm using my favorite by Isadora. And obviously we're going for a dramatic wing. There's no point in stopping the drama now. So I'm gonna stop that wing right about where the uh, red starts. And let that dry. Okay, so now that we have all the colors in place, I want this purple underneath to join the red up top. So I'm gonna go in with whatever is left on that brush and just kind of keep going up. Using the dark purple first. Mm -hmm. 
Right, and then going back in with that lighter purple underneath. And just blending that out a little bit. And the icing on the cake is gonna be another eyeliner. What? <laughs> I'm gonna be using this Aqua Color in Silver by Grimaud. And we're gonna connect the red to the purple using this. I need to get some water to activate this shit. And I think this super mini angle brush is gonna be the best, our best bet for getting a nice clean line here. After that, I'm going in with a black pencil liner. This one is by Makeup Store, and I'm tight lining my upper waterline. That'll just frame everything. You can tell the difference, right? Mascara time! Using my favorite mascara of all time, the Get Big Lashes by Essence. Starting with the bottom lashes. And this is the kind of dramatic look that sort of demands falsies. So we're gonna need to add some falsies. We have these. Sorry the light is changing. It's morning and it's getting to light outside. I'm using black lash adhesive by Clean Color. Alright, let's put some eyebrows on, shall we? I'm using my Isadora eyeliner for that. Hairy brows. Jesus, this yellow light is driving me insane. I'm gonna see if I can fix it for the last part of the video. Haha, -ha, I fixed the lights! Fuck you, lights! We're gonna move on to the lips now, and I'm actually gonna do black lips with a bit of a shimmer on top. Okay. I'm gonna be using the Lime Crime Velveteens, the black one, and a diamond lip gloss from AOA Studios. The shade is called Glacier, which is this nice blue, which I figured would go with the rest of the hair. But first, we're gonna do the black. While we wait for the black lips to dry, I think I'm gonna draw a snowflake on my cheeks <laughs> to kind of highlight that this is meant to be a holiday look because it doesn't look very traditionally Christmassy, does it? I'm gonna do a discreet snowflake, so I'm gonna use that same silvery aqua liner from before. I'm just gonna try to dab a bit of that pigment over it. Oh. The lipstick has dried, let's move along. I'm gonna coat that with this and I'm not gonna use the applicator that comes with it. it might ruin your applicator, so I'm just gonna take a little brush and do this. And we're done! Ah, that's better. Alright guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you had fun with me doing some dramatic, very non-traditional holiday makeup. If you have any questions about the products, turn to the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and follow me on all my other channels as well. Happy holidays, and remember, do no harm, but take no shit. Bye!